Hello everyone, I am Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmaidenVermont.com. Today we are going to be talking about the Henry Mini Pendant. On our site it's also called the Kitchen Pendant. Mini Pendant, Kitchen Pendant, it's Pendant. Um, it is the 18-425, so it is 7.3 inches tall, and when we measure the fixture itself, it's from the bottom of the fixture to where the rod starts. So this is kind of the setup for the telescoping rods, so it would be to right there, okay? Diameter, 9.2 inches in diameter. <clears throat> Lots of details to go over. So let's talk about finishes first because that's the one that's going to be a little confusing to a lot of people. So you have two finishes you get to choose for this fixture. The, the hood part, this conical shaped hood, is going to be one of, the, one of the finishes you're going to choose. The rest of the fixture, which is going to be these bars, socket, stems, canopy is going to be the other one. So when you order, um, when you choose the finishes, you're going to be choosing one for this and then the rest of it for everything else. These little brass rivets are always going to stay brass rivets regardless of whatever you guys order for finishes. So if you're ordering a silvery finish, it's still going to be this brass. Keep that in mind. Not a good thing, not a bad thing, but that's what it is. So you have all your finishes. When you go to our finishes help guide on Handmade in Vermont, <clears throat> and you see there's some model finishes with the letter A on them and more uniform with the letter B on them. This fixture, because how it's made, is going to be more in tune with the ones with the letter B for boy. And that's going to be no modeling, all uniform. Spend a little time on that finishes help guide. It's a really good video. Check it out. You'll be able to see another video from Hubbardson Forge about their whole story. Meet the people who make, this, make all these things happen. Okay, so finishes are all good. We know that Hubbardton uses these telescoping rods, so there's a little uh, hex nut which is missing on this piece. Um, this fixture, these, they come with these little uh, wrenches that kind of tighten and untighten. There's a little friction sleeve hiding inside of this, and I'm going to take it apart for a second and show you. The black thing is the friction sleeve. This is called a clutch, and what happens is that little screw, when you, when you have this all together, and you tighten this up, it's going to push that screw against that clutch and it's going to keep it from moving up back and forth. So make sure you uh, hold on to one of these, you probably have one sitting at home, um, but it explains how this adjustability works. You can't make it go up and down all the time, it's going to be during installation, so keep that in mind too. So you have different adjustable ranges and how they do that is because this can slide, it's going to give you a range, you know, shorter, longer. And the, this is divided up for what we call standard product. And standard product is, you know, the short, standard, long, and then I'll, I'll get into custom stuff in a second. So on this piece, the short's going to go, and we measure the, old, the whole thing. So remember, it's the whole thing from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling. We never talk about parts, uh, just the whole overall height. So 29 inches is the shortest, and then that, that short is going to go to 36.8. After that, we have the standard, and that's going to be 35.2 to 43.2. Long range is going to be 45 to 52.7. If you need shorter than the short, which means shorter height, overall height than 29, or longer than the long, longer than the 52.7, drop us a quick call. Um, actually, we'd like you to call us on this stuff anyway. You'll even see that on our site where it says, you know, please call us to talk about ranges. Measure your ceiling. Measure, 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 measure. This is your best friend. Measuring tape. So I want to hear that sound. See that sound? That's the sound I want to hear. Measure your ceilings. Don't guess. People guess and they mess things up all the time. So <clears throat> measure the ceilings. Give us a call. We'll talk about what you're going to be going over. Um, you know, will the ball press the bottom? How high up the counter it's going to be? Those little details. Phone calls are free. Love it, and it gets you out of a big jam down the road when things you go awry because we ordered the wrong thing, or you ordered the wrong thing because you didn't call. So that's why I'm here all day long waiting for your call for this. So, going back a sec. So if you need shorter than the short, shorter than the 29, or longer than the 52.7 overall height, we do these custom ranges, and sometimes if it's really, really short, like this short, it's going to be fixed. Um, if it's going to be really, really long, like I can sometimes go up to like 12 feet, and then there's going to be couplings with these rods going down. But we can get, you know, we can get well beyond what we call standard product. Uh, slope ceilings. So this has a little knuckle at the top. 
right there. And what it allows it to do is like, let's say this is your slope, it's going to allow it to bend like that. So this will be straight, going straight down. So a lot of these are going to be slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees. A few of the older ones to 90, but expect uh, the 45, unless it says it's not for some reason. Uh, canopy on the ceiling, 5 inch diameter round canopy. That's normal for most of the fixtures. There is a product out in the market called the Can Converter. If you have recessed hi-hats, which are those uh, pot lights, or uh, they call them recessed cans, um, and a lot of those are too big for this to cover. So what happens is you can order that product, the Can Converter. Just go to their website. Don't go look at the copies at the big box stores, but go to the Can Converter. We don't sell it. We don't get any money from it, but it, it's a lifesaver for people that want to take these recessed lights they have and turn them into some kind of pendant or a junction box is what it turns it into. So you'll be able to hang anything from them. Okay, and they have trim rings, so um, if you have like a giant old 1980s house with uh, big hi-hats, it'll be able to cover that up so you'll be able to use these. Okay, it's a great thing. People have used it. Always said it was awesome. So here are your finishes. We have <clears throat> our adjustable ranges. Uh, this uses a medium base socket, okay? Um, you'll be able to put in, like, I, I tend to like an Edison bulb on this. I think it looks pretty cool. And this is an LED Edison, which I just got at Home Depot in one of those places. But they make all kinds of these new phosphorus Edisons. You can use a traditional incandescent bulb up to 100 watts in this, and that's because of the heat generated by an incandescent bulb. So, check that out. Um, you'll notice this actually crushed the bottom a little bit, but this looks pretty cool. Um, Henry has been an amazingly great seller for Halberton Forge and for us. And I think part of the reason why is that you can, just by tweaking this with finishes a little bit, you can customize it to make it work with so many different interiors. So this is burnished steel, and if I did this in burnished steel, the whole thing, I could probably even put this in kind of a modern loft or a contemporary white house with lots of glass, that kind of thing. <clears throat> if I do it in a bronze, dark smoke, black, I can put it in a more traditional house. So it, I can even put this like in a Tudor kitchen, you know, with lots of marble. It just goes so well with so many traditional and modern houses. You just have to tweak it a little bit with the finishes. Um, so it's been a great fixture. Um, Love its pieces. We have uh, adjustable ranges. We have our finishes. We have our socket. I think that's really about it on this piece. Um, we had this up in our showroom, I think, in bronze. There's a larger version of this, like about that big, that would go over your uh, kitchen table. The sockets kind of come down like this. There's four sockets. There is an exterior version that you could check out too that you can use in the house, inside the house, and that has one bulb going down. So if you're looking at the bigger fixture and you're not crazy about the four light, you can always go back and look at the one light. It's just an option. People will use that one all the time. No right or wrong, it's just, it's just another option for you. Isn't that awesome? So anyway, have it in the showroom, come visit us. We're in Wallingford, Vermont, which is midway between uh, Rutland and Manchester, Vermont. Like this video if you can so we can send more to you. Um, we would love to do that because we always have new videos coming out of new product. Our showroom's open, our showroom has like 350 things from Hubbardton Forge, and it's open from Monday through Saturday, 11 to 6. Uh, our telephones are open from 10 to 6, and you can email us at 24 hours a day, sales at handmadeinvermont.com. Okay? So uh, come visit, come write us, come call us, and we're here for you. Thanks for stopping in. We, got, we will see you guys again in the future. Okay? Have a good night. Bye-bye.